cooking with Rick stories about food. Today I'm at the VFW, but I'm in a different spot. I've been by the barbecue. I was under the awning last last week, and it started to rain. So today I'm going to do zeppelins. Actually, what's happening is that we normally have the uh, Feast of San Gennaro up here, and since we're involved with this coronavirus, kind of, kind of, they cancel it. Uh, so. I've been trying to make things that you would have at the feast and that everybody's missing. So the first thing I did sauces and peppers last week. I've already done rice balls. That was, that was done a while ago. And I said, well, you know what? Zeppelis, that's going to be it. I mean, let's do Zeppelis. I don't know if you're familiar with them, but if you're at, at a feast, they hand you a paper bag with a bunch of these Zeppelis in it. So again, we're doing fried Zeppelis. Interesting dish. First thing you want to do is get yourself flour. All right, unbleached flour, and I have some baking powder. We're gonna make a dough. All right. All right. When I was a kid, um, my mom used to give me uh, recipes, but she'd always leave something out. <laughs> so I would always have something. I said, "Mom, it don't taste like the way you made it." <laughs> Did you forget something? No, 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 no. Then I'd have watch her and I'd catch it. She would add something extra that she didn't tell me about. Well, she said, I don't want you to make everything the way I do. I don't know. I don't know. If was, I thought that was funny, funny. Anyway, so, all right, so we got the, the baking powder, right? First thing you want to do is you want to put some flour in here, right? Just dump some flour. All right. Now, when you do, or you make dough, you gotta add uh, some warm, warm water and yeast. Which I, let me get the warm water and yeast. I already have that mixed up. So, so what you wanna do is, uh, is drop some in here. Not a lot, just a little bit, all right? And then you wanna start kneading it. Now, most of the time I do kneading, I do it with one hand. So the other hand is free if the phone rings. And I don't know if there's a phone going to ring outside here. But if you have to do something else, you, you have a free hand. So what you want to do, and I put it in, normally you put it in a bowl, but I have a, since we're working outside, let's do this, right? Now, we'll start mixing it up, right? So I, I think it's a little... It needs a little bit more water, right? So use your other hand because you don't want to put all this stuff that's from this hand onto the, the cup, right? So that's one less thing to wash so much. Put it back here, all right? All right, let's go. And you start, you cut mixing it, right? Doing this until it becomes into like a, like a, like a ball, all right? It's like, like when you make a pizza. That's basically the same same principle. But only we're gonna do something different. Uh, we're gonna add some sugar in here and we're gonna put some vanilla in here to you know that's so that's the, the interesting thing about it. That's what makes the uh Zeppelin's different. All right. If you're ever in New Orleans, um, there's a there's a place that makes Zeppelin's, but they call them Benets. Uh, and it's uh, and they said you got to try this place. Uh, they make they make they make benets. It's, it's it's like a zeppelin, terrific. So I'm a bunch of Italian guys, and one one guy goes, but where's the anchovies? That's the trick. Uh, my mom did that all the time. She would sneak an anchovy in one of them. So you be eating a sweet. <laughs> sweet zeppelin and all of a sudden you take a bite in the anchovy. Oh, where'd that come from? She would do that. Uh, and Cafe Dumas uh, in, in New Orleans. Fabulous place. I mean, it, and you eat outdoors and you, and you, you know, and you have these the benets and then, you know, and there's the, the white, you know, the white sugar, you know, powdered sugar all over the place. But it's fun. If you, if you have a bucket list and places you want to go, New Orleans got to be one of them. Food there is fabulous. Um, you know, I mean, it, it's just, it's a great place to, to visit. I mean, it really is. Uh, I don't know. Uh, 
I, it, it, I kind of like rate it like um, New York City in a, in a sense. New York City has great restaurants. I mean, if if I mean that's something you should really think about. If you're uh, go out, I mean, you should look at um, a good eating a good restaurant every once in a while. It's nothing like eating in a great restaurant. Um, the way they you know the way they serve you. The way yeah, I mean, it's just it's you should, people should do that. You want to eat in a good restaurant. Yeah, and, and all right. Okay, enough of the rest of us. All right, so what I'm doing is just kind of uh, kneading this, right? Uh, I might have to add a little bit more water to it and uh, to really help it out a bit, all right? Yeah, we want to add the uh, baking powder to it. So you can do it a couple of ways. You can use a, a spoon and put it, but I'm going to just do it, shake it in, all right? Some baking, baking uh, powder add. So now, now comes the fun. We want to add some uh, sugar, all right? You, you, you gotta have everything in different containers. I mean, because you're, you're, you're fighting the elements. You're fighting bees and, the, and, and flies and what have you. So I'm gonna put a little bit of sugar in here, huh? So we got some sugar in there. Not a lot, just, I do a lot of this stuff by eye. So then you want to cover the sugar again and these, containers work great and I do have I have a flour one there too help it out we need to add some a uh, little bit of vanilla I got this vanilla it's called it's an imitation vanilla I understand the price of vanilla bean has gone through the roof I know a lot of people what they're doing is they're doing with the beans right I got this here and I'm gonna just throw a little bit in all right again you do it by eye. So we have some of that, and what else we want to help it out with? Well, let's put some uh, cinnamon. Now, just sprinkle, there you go. And again, cover everything again, because you're, you're working within that, that environment here, so you gotta make sure everything is covered. So let's go, we, let's start mixing this now. Now, I, there are pros and cons to this. Some people will say, well, they do that after the dough rises. And, well, I do what I do. So we're going to keep doing this. We have to start adding uh, some more uh, flour. So you can, you can throw it into the oil. You'll, you'll, you'll put it in oil for, I guess it's uh, 375 degrees, and just do it like so. Okay, I'm mixing this up. Again, one hand, this hand is free. You know, to do whatever you want with it, you know. Okay, so we're going to add some more flour. And I have a bag here. Normally, I've been telling you about putting it into the trays. <laughs> there I go, using the bag. I do what I do. I, I got a tray over there. And uh, see, but let me just show some. Okay. And I use this hand on it because this bag is not going to be, say, you should know when you cook outdoors, don't put a lot of aftershave lotion on yourself because it attracts bees and whatnot, you know? So, hey, I mean, if they would come after, they come after sweet, right? They're going to come after you too, right? So this bee didn't know that uh, I didn't use any aftershave, but that's all right. And we'll put it aside and let it, let it rise, all right? It should take three to, it should take three to four hours to rise. Uh, yeah. But with the miracle of, uh, video it's ready now okay so look at this see and just dump them in three and i'll throw actually you don't want to put too many in there because if you do too much you kind of like you're steaming it you're not frying it you want to fry you want to have room to fry it all right so just pull them out right and just throw in so we got four of them in here right and here we go You'll, you'll notice when they start, when they get, when they start to get done, they start to rise to the top, all right? And then you know you, then you know you got something going, all right? Trick is to do it like so, right? And then you get it and just dump it in. I got a, an audience out there making comments. You hear them? Yeah. Okay. They're gonna get the one with the Ali in it. You know, the Ali is, is anchovies, you know? So they're gonna get one. 
You're going to get one like that. They'll hear it. They'll get it. But I won't tell them which one it is. All right. I'm opening it up. Right. My mom would do this all the time. She would stick some anchovies in there. And we'd be eating these. These up. Oh, wow. Great. This is an terrific. And all of What's that? Mom, what is that? She said, that's the anchovy. Well, I'll eat. She said it Italian. Huh? Okay. Now, and I'm using vegetable oil. Uh, a lot of people use olive oil, but I thought vegetable oil would be better. Uh, so you can see that they're kind of like uh, working out good. Okay, what we're going to do now is get the powdered sugar, and I'll just put the powdered sugar on the side there and uh, get the brown paper bag when they throw the uh, Zeppelin's in there, and we can just shake in the powdered sugar uh, out of the shaker. Hey guys, we're here at the VFW 8328 in Yorktown. We have Chef Rick here, and he's making some fresh Zeppelin's. What's out there? Want to come by? Right on Veterans Road, you make your fresh Zeppelis. Oh my God, it's delicious. Oh my God, I hate you. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> That was the commander's wife, Anna, and making an announcement on Facebook on actually what we're doing today. Uh, I think she, she likes the Zeppelins. Uh, it, it looks like it, it's done. Um, I have one here, and I'm going to cut it. Uh, this one had the anchovies in it, so uh, it's like, here we go. I got one here, and what we want to do is just, we'll cut it. We'll cut it here. All right. And I'm going to taste it. Hey, that's really good. Uh, it's really not hard to do, as you can see it. I mean, you know, but I mean, we're working outdoors. But this is normally done outdoors anyway at a feast, right? Wow. This is, like, really good. Salute to Pichandang. Good luck for 100 years. And again, hey, thanks for watching the video. And if you like what you see, please subscribe.